Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. You believe you have a victory today? Praise the Lord. Going higher and higher. Praise the Lord. I'm going to receive my miracle. Praise the Lord. Healing and deliverance for me. Praise the Lord. I'm going to get my new certificate for this year. Put your hands together for Jesus. And everybody said, This year is going to be a glorious year. For you as a child of God, everything you ever dreamt of, everything you ever prayed for, everything you ever desired, the Lord is going to grant you this year in Jesus' name. As for admissions, that is settled. As for school fees, that is settled. Being well and happy, that is settled. And then, of course, higher, higher, higher is settled. Once again, praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's a glorious day. It's a wonderful day. It's a day for signs and wonders. It's a day for promotion. It's a day for having all the desires of our hearts. And I pray, Lord, everyone here today, every boy, every girl, every brother, every sister, you receive your portion in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that all the tears will be dried up. All the sicknesses are gone. All the pains are gone. All the captives are delivered. Bless everyone in Jesus' name. Anything we have lost, bring everything back. Everything we have been dreaming of, give it to us today. I thank you, Lord, because I know it's answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down with your Bible open to Haggai chapter 2. Haggai chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 9. Haggai chapter 2, reading from verse 9. The first part of verse 9. It says, The glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former. Amen. Give me a good, good amen. amen. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of of the former if you go to verse 19 and then you go to the last line of verse 19 verse 19 the last line from this day i will bless you from this day i will bless you when you bring those two things together number one on the one side verse 9 is glory on then on the other side verse 19 is blessing and then you bring everything together it says it's this day when he says the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former. And then he says today, today, today it will happen to you. Yeah. And he says from this very day I will bless you. Well, I'm going to talk on glory. And I'm talking on recovering the lost glory. Recovering the lost glory. You look at yourself, angels are looking at you. And God is looking at you. And Christ is looking at you. And he's saying, I'm bringing something back to your life. The glory that was lost. The brightness that was lost. The higher ground that was lost. All the good, good things of lost. Everything is coming back in Jesus' name. Well, you know, I like to understand what I'm talking about. And I, I like people too to understand what I'm talking about. When I say glory. Well, if you go to your dictionary, it will tell you what glory is. But I like to look at the Bible, and when it says, The glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former. That is, the present day, your present day, this particular year, will be higher than last year. Greater than last year. More glorious than last year. And you're going to be happier this year, healthier this year. And you're going to have greater grace this year. You're going to move faster this year. And before you even start to say, I want this, it's done already. Because this year is a glorious year. Glory. What is glory? Spell glory for me. 
G-L-O-R-Y. G is for greatness. I said G for greatness. It's saying that the greatness of this latter time shall be greater than that of the former time. The greatness, the greatness. When God talked to the children of Israel and he spoke to them about glory. G, he spoke about greatness. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, reading there from verse 7. When he spoke about glory, he's talking about the greatness that was going to grant unto them. And in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 7, here is what it says in verse 7 of Deuteronomy chapter 4 it says in verse 7 for what nation is there so great so great as god who has god so near unto them as the lord our god is in all things that we call upon him for when israel sought of glory number one the thought of greatness and then when god said i'm going to give you greater glory higher glory father glory they're thinking i'm going to be greater than i was and you're going to be greater than you are in jesus name yeah. l leadership leadership you see god raised up the children of Israel so that they will lead all the other people he didn't want anyone to be ahead of them he wanted them to be on top of everyone he wanted them that's what he meant by glory children who are here today none of you will be the tail you'll be the head in jesus name now o is for opportunities opportunities when the lord said the glory of the latter day will be greater than that of the former he was saying there'll be greatness greater than you ever saw in your life there'll be leadership greater than you ever saw in your life there'll be opportunities greater than you ever saw in your life opportunities are coming your way you turn to the right there'll be an open door you turn to the left there'll be an open door as we're looking for like this there'll be an open door all the doors that were closed before they'll open in jesus name the door to the door of finance to finance to education and you're moving forward that door of finance will open in jesus name the door of people that will help you help us help us help us will come from here help us will come from there help us will come from everywhere it's a year this year is a year of opportunity for you you tell chapter, 20, chapter 28 verse 12 chapter 28 verse 12 the lord shall open unto thee his good treasure open door i said open door i said open door they're coming your way in jesus name the lord shall open unto you the good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in a season and to bless all the work of your hand every subject you get your past credit and distinction all the work of your hand this anointed hand this year will prosper any paper any pen i hold and i put it on paper this year tell me it's going to succeed i said it's going to succeed all the work of your hand it will grant unto you in jesus name and thou shalt lend to many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. R is for righteousness. You'll be righteous. I said you'll be righteous. I'm coming to back to you. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4. And I'm reading here from verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 8. And what nation is there so great that has the statutes and the judgments so righteous, so righteous, so righteous as all this law? which a search before you when this day this day that righteousness will grant unto you in jesus name you see there are many people that said I, I want to be righteous i find it difficult to be righteous this year there's no difficulty in righteousness repentance will come unto you in jesus name redemption will come into you in jesus name reconciliation with god and reconciliation with one another it will come in jesus name right living right standing righteousness it will come your life in jesus name give me g is for what l is for what o is for what r is for what look at this one now why can you guess why it's for the year of jubilation the year of celebration 
and the year of jubilee this is my year i said this is my year if you are looking for somebody in front of this year come ask me i am there if you are looking for somebody up the mountain top this year come ask me i am there if you're asking for someone with a big wide white certificate come ask me i am there if you're asking for somebody healthy and strong come ask me i am there because this year is the year of my celebration it's the year of my jubilation it's the year of my promotion glory glory the lord is saying that this year will not pass you by i said this year will not pass you by leviticus chapter 27 leviticus chapter 27 i'm reading there from verse 24 leviticus chapter 27 and there we are in verse 24 this is mine i said this is mine in the year of the jubilee that's your jubilation everybody say jubilation, jubilation. say celebration in the year of the jubilee the field shall return unto him of whom it was bought that thing it will return back to me even to him to whom the possession of the land did belong those things belong to you they belong to me we're going to have them this year in jesus name now recovering the lost glory recovering the lost glory greatness i will recover leadership i will recover opportunities i will recover and righteousness i will recover and then the year of celebration jubilee jub jubilation i have recovered already you have recovered already in jesus name now how do we recover that turn now with me to second kings chapter four second kings chapter four i'm reading here from chapter six second kings chapter six and i'm reading from verse one second kings chapter six and we're reading from verse one and the sons of the prophet said unto elisha behold now the place where where we dwell with you is too straight and too narrow and too small and too confined for us let us go we pray thee unto jordan and take there and take theirs every man a beam and let us make a, us a place a place there where we may dwell and he said he answered go they saw that they needed more glory expansion enlargement extension that's what we're having this year i said that's what we're having this year enlargement will come to you in jesus name extension will come to everything you do this year in jesus name expand expand and then explosion everybody say explosion everything will explode in jesus name and so they said the place is too small the place is too straight the place is too confined we need some expansion it will happen in jesus name and so elijah says okay you can go okay you can go because this is the year of extension expansion and is the year of explosion and then look at verse three in verse three and one said be content be happy be satisfied be pleased i pray thee and go with thy servant and he answered i will go so he went with them the lord will go with you his power will go with you his presence will go with you and his wisdom will go with you this year in jesus name and and then and when they came to jordan they cut down wood verse 5 and as one of them was failing cutting down a beam the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said at last master for it was borrowed and the man of god said where fell it and he showed him the place and he cut down his stick and cast it in hither and the iron did swim your iron will swim you know science you know science iron is not supposed to swim when iron falls into water it gets to the bottom and the water was so deep river was so deep they'll never be able to get it again but miracle will bring it back the anointing will bring it back the power of the holy ghost will bring it back 
and the presence of the prophet in our midst will bring it back to you again in Jesus name the iron fell into the bottom of the river and then it says the iron did swim therefore said he take it up to thee and he put out his hand and took it you will take it I said you will take it there are three things we're looking at number one the provision for expansion the provision for expansion is coming to you I said it's coming to you give me number one for expansion number two is the pursuit of extension we we'll pursue each we we'll pursue each we're running after it and we're going to get it and then number three is the power for exploits the power for exploits that's right that's right give me a good amen there yeah. exploits we will do exploits in jesus name number one do you see that number one they had a passion within them a desire within them i told you all the time that's why it starts there's a desire there's a decision there is a determination there's a form of discipline there is diligence and then there is this one that says i'm going to have dominion and i'm going to have that dominion you have the dominion in jesus name but it starts with a passion it starts with a promise it starts with a provision it starts with what god wants to do and then i agree with god he wants to take me higher i agree with him he wants to bless my life this year i agree with him he tells me that the glory of the latter house will be greater than that of the former i agree with him it is that provision that promise that passion that leads me to expansion look at chapter 4 verse 38 chapter 4 verse 38 let me tell you who these people were the sons of the prophets that came to Elijah and they said this place is too small this place is too narrow this place is too confined let's expand let's extend let's go beyond where we are today look at verse 38 in chapter 4 it says and Elijah came again to Gilgal and there was a deer in the land and the sons of the prophets were sitting before him and said and he said unto his servant set on the great porch and seat pottage for the sons of the prophets the sons of the prophets were students of prophecy they were the people studying under the prophet that's why they were called the sons of the prophet like paul called timothy a son actually a student and like uh, you know jesus called all those people his disciples his sons those were the students and these were the students here and the school was too small for them and the school was too narrow for them and he said we want to expand all our students here today we're going to expand in jesus name in Isaiah chapter 54, Isaiah chapter 54, open your Bible because this is yours. Say it is mine. Say it is mine. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Get ready something greater than you ever got is coming your life this way, this year in Jesus name. Ex enlarge, expand, extend the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thine habitation spare not lengthen thy course it you'll be lengthened this year and then strengthen thy stays you see all the language there you expand you enlarge you extend and then you lengthen and you strengthen now before i go from that number one what am i looking for this year number one higher grounds everybody say higher grounds higher ground number one higher grounds number two higher grace higher grace that is the grace of god in our lives this year you have greater higher grace than you ever had in jesus name all the challenges all the temptations i didn't have enough grace the other time to overcome this this year you have abundance of the grace of god in jesus name number one higher ground am i there are you there number two what's number two higher grace number three higher godliness higher godliness give me a good amen you'll be godly this year i said you'll be godly this year the character of a real child of god will reflect in your life in jesus name 
Number four is higher grades. G R A D E S. Higher what? Grace. Tell me. Grace. Higher grades. I'm going to have higher grades this year in Jesus' name. You know, you add, um, maybe it was B plus last year, this year, A plus. A minus last year, this year, A plus. It was C. You barely made it last year, A plus. Mark down my word, mark down my word, higher grades this year in Jesus' name. And the next time I come, the next time I come, you'll give me your testimony. You say, Pastor, you said so, and it is so. I said, you said so, and it is so. Higher grades, number five, number five, higher goals, higher goals. If your goal post is too near, shift it further, higher goals. If your goal post is too low, make it higher, higher goals this year. Number six, higher gifts, higher gifts. I'm going to have gifts this year. I said I'm going to have gifts this year gifts from above and gifts from around and gifts from everywhere and gifts from within even some gifts in me that i didn't know was there i'm going to discover those gifts this year in jesus name higher gaze higher profit higher gaze higher gaze the lord will confirm it in our lives in jesus name number one higher grounds number two give it to me number three give it to me Number four, number five, number six, number seven, and I've got them all. I said I've got them all. I said I've got them all. They are yours in Jesus. Number two now is the pursuit, the pursuit of extension. The pursuit of extension. You see, the, the people that just have a good desire, I want, I want, I desire, I have passion, I'm going to make it, but they don't follow it with action. Action. There must be action. They said, we want to go. He said, go. And they went. We want to go. He said, go. And they went. You see, the glory belongs to the people that rise up and go. The glory belongs to the people that put their pen on paper and they write. The glory belongs to the people that said, I want to do this and they do it. And this year will be a year of action. I said it will be a year of action. There's no point sitting back and folding my hand and sitting down at home and never getting to school and never writing any exam saying, I'm going to be the head. If you're going to be the head, you rise up and you go and you lead the people. You'll be leaders in Jesus' name. Remember once again, glory that is greatness and leadership and opportunities and righteousness and the year of jubilation, the year of celebration. You've got it already. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 3 and 4. 2 Kings chapter 6, I'm looking at verses 3 and 4. It says in verse 3, And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. And so he went with them. He went with them. He went with them. It's the action. It's the action. And that action means work. It means work. This year, you will work. I said this year, you will work. All the things that make us lazy, I drive all that thing out in Jesus' name. The one that is always sleeping, sleeping. The morning sleeping. They have to sleep in every time. That sleeping sickness, I command you, get away in Jesus' name. The mind that wakes up. The heart that wakes up. The life that wakes up. The brain that wakes up. Every part of us that wakes up, I command that thing that's awake to come upon you in Jesus' name. It just a, a desire to work, a desire to do something, a desire to study, a desire to be the to be the man, to be the woman, to be the boy, the girl of excellence. It will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Ecclesiastes chapter four, Ecclesiastes chapter nine, chapter nine, Ecclesiastes chapter nine. I'm reading there from verse ten. Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse ten. It says, "Whatsoever, whatsoever, any subject, whatsoever, any job." whatsoever any employment whatsoever any assignment whatsoever any work you have to do whatsoever thy hand find it to do do it how 
with thy might for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave whither thou goest anything you have to do set your mind to it set your heart to it and get it done it will be done in jesus name this year i will not be lazy i said this year i will not be lazy this year i will not be idle tell me this year i will not be idle anywhere you find work being done i will be there anywhere you find people carrying out assignment i will be there anywhere you find people sweating and perspiring and getting something done anywhere you're looking for achiever look for me i will be there how many of you will be there i said how many of you are there you are there in jesus name uh, can, can I show you how the Lord wants us to walk? Look at Psalm 104. Psalm 104. Psalm 104. I'm waiting for you. Psalm 104. And I'm reading there from verse 23. Very important. Very important. What's the psalm? Tell me. What's the verse? Okay, we're going to read together. Get ready. Are you there already? One, two, three, go. You see that, you see that this man goes forth. You have to rise up out of the bed. You have to get out of the house. You have to go and take that bus if you need to. You have to go on the train if you have to. You need to go for the same man goes forth onto his work. If your work is in the school, you go forth into the school. If the, your work is in the college, you go forth into the college. If your work is in training ground, you go forth into that training ground. If your work is anywhere in that hall, you go forth into that place. It says, man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until when? Until the evening. That's how he wants us to walk. And this year, you will walk in Jesus' name. Number one, work at priorities. Work at priorities. Look at what is important. Don't do the unessential thing. Don't do the non-essential. Look for everything that is to be done and say, this one is important. This one is urgent. This one needs attention. This one is number one. If I get this, is the mother of them all. If I get this, is the father of them all. I must do this. I must do this. Set your priorities. And number one, work at priorities. Number two, work for progress. Don't just walk. What are you doing, Johnny? I'm walking. What are you doing, Mary? I'm walking. Why are you walking? Well, they told us to walk. What's the goal? Work for progress. Work for progress. And make sure that I'm doing this because it will lead to that other thing. I'm doing this because it will lead me a step higher. It will lead me to the greatness. It will lead me to the leadership. It will lead me to the open door. It will lead me to the righteousness. It will lead me to the year of achievement and year of celebration. You work. Number two, for progress. Number three, walk through problems walk through problems don't ever allow a problem to strike you on the chest and then knock you down problems must not knock you down you look at that problem you, you walk through the problem you walk on the problem you walk over the problem and you walk through the problem it will be so in jesus name you see there are people they allow the problem to walk through them and they allow the problem to level them down. They allow the problem to just scare them away. You can't walk, there is a problem. You can't walk because there is a challenge. Yes, we will walk this year. I said, we will walk this year. When I find a problem this year, I say, praise the Lord. I have a challenge before me here. I'm going to walk through. I said, I'm going to. Tell me, I said, I'm going to. Tell me, I said, I'm going to walk through i'm going to walk through my problems i'm not going to allow the problem to walk over me you will succeed in jesus name number four walk with perseverance walk with perseverance you must persevere just stay at it 
Just stay at it. You have a challenge, stay at it. And you have a problem, stay at it right there. You walk with perseverance, perseverance. You see, the people that endure, the people that persevere, it's not the people that the very first challenge they have, they give up. Those are not the people that succeed. The people that succeed, they are the people that say, there's a challenge here, I love challenge. Because champions love challenges. I said champions love what? challenge because if there are no challenges there'll be no cha champions at all and it is because there are challenges and i'm ready to just stick at it and stay with it and move on until it is done that's how i become a champion that's why you are a champion already in jesus name you work with perseverance and then you work with perspiration everybody say perspiration i can't hear you what's perspiration sweating sweating you will sweat i said you will sweat have you found have you ever found any mother that cooks good good food for the family and then there's no heat she's not willing to endure the heat in the kitchen of course if you're going to cook for the family and you're going to make the family well fed and happy you'll face the heat in the kitchen the same thing if you're going to have good grace and i know i'm going to have good grace i am going to have good grace I said, I'm going to have good grades. I must persevere and I must perspire. You'll perspire in Jesus' name. Number six, you work until promotion day. You work until promotion day. You're not going to stop halfway before you finish. You're going to work until that promotion, that certificate is in your hand. You say, praise the Lord. I can go on vacation now because I have something in my hand. What do I have in my hand? Not microphone. What is it? certificate you have it in jesus name and then number seven you work like a prefect you work like a prefect you know the prefect is is, a, is on top of the whole class and it's not the one that is you know they say eh, so and so is a prefect but there are 37 people in the class and she's uh, he's number 35 that one is not a good prefect i'm not going to be a failure as a prefect i'm going to be a success in jesus name you work like a prefect and that is given to you already in jesus name I'm going to point number three now, the power, the power for exploits. The power for exploits. What do I have? The power for exploits. What do you have? The power for exploits. We're going to have it in Jesus' name. In 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 6, we're there now, 2 Kings chapter 6, and I'm reading there from verse, from verse 5, and it says, but as one was failing, cutting down a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, alas, master, for it was borrowed, and the man of God said, where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down his cheek and cast it thither. And the iron, tell me, and the iron, tell me out aloud, and the iron, what is that? Did swim. It will swim in Jesus' name. A miracle will happen to you. A miracle will come your way. It says in Daniel chapter 11, Daniel chapter 11, Daniel chapter 11, I'm reading there from verse 32. This is something for you to mark in your Bible because this year it is going to happen to you. It says in the latter part of verse 32, second part of verse 32, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. The people that do know their God, where are the people? The people that do know their God, the people are here, praise the Lord, they shall be, they shall be, and they shall do exploits you'll do exploits in jesus name uh, can i show you just a uh, one of us here one of us here is in first chronicles chapter four first chronicles chapter four i'm reading here from verse nine here is the testimony of one of us and this is my testimony i said this is my testimony look at this look at this it says first chronicles chapter four verse nine and jabez was more honorable than his brethren I'm going to read it for myself, not just Jabez now. And what's the name? What's the name? More honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name, uh, what? Tell me your name. 
sin because I bear him of sorrow. And uh, what's the name? And I said, what's the name? Yes, your name called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Will the Lord bless you? And enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, and that it may not grieve me. And the Lord granted him that which he requested and the lord granted me and the lord granted me and the lord has granted me rise up and tell the lord the lord has granted it to you already he has granted you that which you requested has granted you that which you expected is the year of glory it's a year of promotion. It's a year of progress. It's a year of recovering, recovering everything that we have lost. Open your mouth and tell, tell the Lord. Open your mouth, open your mouth and tell the Lord this year, this year, this year will be a year of progress. This year will be a year of achievement. This year will be a year of glory. This year will be a year of greatness. This year will be a year of leadership. This year will be a year of opportunities. This year will be a year of restoration, a year of righteousness, a year of redemption, a year of his riches. This year will be the year of celebration. The year of celebration. The year of celebration. The year of celebration. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. It's a year. It's a year. This is a year of greatness. This is your year of glory. This is your year of open door open door open door opportunities everywhere you go you turn to the right opportunities you turn to the left opportunities and you turn anywhere any direction opportunities for this for you this year in jesus name you tell the lord you tell the lord it is mine tell the lord it is yours tell the lord it is mine it's coming your way it's coming your way the miracle of the hour is coming your way the miracle of the day is coming your way. The miracle, the miracle, the miracle of the day is coming your way. It is yours. It is yours. You are going to have it. You are going to have it. It is coming. It is coming. It is get ready. Get ready. It is coming. Miracle of salvation. It is coming. Miracle of righteousness. It is coming. Miracle of victory. It is coming. Miracle of the victorious life is coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. You'll never be the same anymore in your life. And the Lord granted him. 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 All that he requested. You tell the Lord, the Lord is doing it right now. If you've not been born again, give your life to the Lord and say, Lord, here am I. Here am I. I need to be born again. I need to be born again. I repent of my sin. I give up my sin. And then I receive the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior. Do it right there. Do it right there. Do it right there. And then this glorious year will be for you. The year of celebration. Give up your sin. Give up your sin. Give up your sin. And have the salvation of the Lord. Give up your sin and have the salvation of the Lord. And let that transformation start right here. Let that transformation start right here. Reject the devil. Repent of your sin. Renounce all your evil ways. And say, Lord, here am I. Here am I. Here am I. I receive Jesus as my personal Savior. I receive Jesus as my personal Savior. I receive Jesus as my personal Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Let's bow and eyes closed. This year is going to be wonderful. Heads bowed and eyes closed. I want to give you an opportunity to make this year a year of miracle. A year of transformation. A year of promotion. A year of joys untold. 
it will happen to you in jesus name you want to give your life to the lord in a very real and definite way turn away from your sin and say lord this year i want to be serious with this salvation and this day i want the salvation of the lord to be mine wherever you are just raise up your hand i'm going to pray with you it's the time for salvation now it's the time for salvation now salvation everybody say salvation, salvation. everybody say salvation. salvation give it to me say it aloud let's bow the eyes closed you are giving your life to the lord jesus christ you are saying i want all my sins to be forgiven i want all my sins to be forgiven i want jesus to be my savior and this very moment i receive jesus as my personal savior wherever you are just raise up your hand raise up your hand thank you very much god bless you god bless you inside there outside there i'm waiting and everywhere you are hearing my voice now this is the moment of your salvation this is the moment of your salvation. Just raise up that hand very well. Raise it up very well. Can you wave the hand at me? Amen. Wonderful. And you tell the Lord where you are. Lord, I am sorry for all the sins I've committed, for all the evil I have done. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. I believe that your forgiveness comes to me right now. I believe in your mercy, in your love, in your grace, my sins are forgiven. I believe now I am saved. Lord, give me grace to live a life that shows your salvation. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these boys and girls who have raised up their hands for the salvation of the Lord. Oh Lord, I pray, real salvation, definite salvation, give unto them right now in Jesus' name. And the grace to go and live a better life, a higher life, a pure life, a good life, grant unto everyone in Jesus' name. All those backsliders who have said, oh Lord, I was saved before, but now I want to recommit my life to the Lord. I pray that your salvation will be restored unto them in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I used to think that victorious used clap more than that. Amen. I can tell, I can tell, I can tell when you are really victorious. You are victorious today in Jesus' name. Now, now, miracle number two. Healing, deliverance, success, promotion, leadership, provision everything i need everything is coming my way now in jesus name resolve those hands now you are healed already you are delivered already and that higher ground higher ground we're getting there together in jesus name father in the name of jesus I thank you, Lord, for the miracle of the day. And I pray it's coming to that boy, coming to that girl right now in Jesus' name. Every pain in your body, I command that pain, come out in Jesus' name. Every sickness in your body, I command that sickness, come out in Jesus' name. All the affliction, all the attack, all the yoke, I break everything. I destroy everything now. You are set free in Jesus' name. Lord, a definite miracle. Miracle of healing. Miracle of deliverance. Miracle of joy. Miracle of happiness. A miracle of success. Miracle of provision. Miracle of promotion unto everyone in Jesus' name. Higher ground. Higher grace. Higher godliness. Higher grace. Higher goodness of the Lord. I have goals and everything high, high, high this year in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray the power for exploits, the power for extension, the power for explosion, 
the path of marching on and marching upward, marching forward, grant unto everyone in Jesus' name. Give every one of your children here testimony. 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 Testimony in every mouth in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle for everyone. And I pray for everyone from right to left to front to middle to the back. I pray that this year will be the year of your greatness. This year will be the year of your leadership. Will be the year of opportunities. Will be the year of righteousness. Will be your year of celebration in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know you have answered. I thank you, Lord, it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Thank you and God bless you.